Charlie Kirk and host Crystal Ball takes a controversial turn as Ball asks Owens bait questions centered around issues of race, diversity, and political violence. Tonight, we'll try to drill down on the situation together. As well, but that, we actually have to get out of the segment do you think now. That we, we, that it language is, is helpful, though. I mean, just in terms I think of the you, national I, conversation. Well, I because ask I, you, do you think I it's have, helpful to ask me, just because I'm a black woman, if I'm comfortable with the amount of color that's on the administration? Do you think that that's helpful? Wow, Owens is not afraid to ask pointed questions of the presenters. You know, it's hard to answer a question like that without offending the person who asked it. Since the death of George Floyd, a black man, at the hands of a white police officer in Minneapolis in May. Social media has been awash with statements from companies and their executives condemning discrimination and declaring their commitment to racial justice. 94% of the 300,000 new jobs in the U.S. went to people of color and minorities. Bloomberg ran a laudatory article on the subject. I think it's helpful and interesting to it's know not. your perspective. It's not. It's you just trying to create I'm interested an in your undertone that Donald You're Trump is racist and no, it's wrong. Yeah. No. Okay. But that, to me, is the reason why. Listen, no, 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 no. We actually. I just want to say. I just, just want to say. I, I just want to say. You're looking I, at me on the basis of my skin say. color and making a bunch of, you know, and making a bunch of deductions. I did not. Remember, you said that, and we can run the tape back. But I want to say. that. Here's what I want to say. You quoted a tweet and then you made it about you. I appreciate. You were not added, but you were not added in that tweet. So do not say I'm that I called you that because that's dishonest. And we are on, and we are, and we are on TV. So you can run. You're calling me racist. Okay, so you're, you, I did not call you racist. Okay, so you're, you're using the typical we leftist have, tactic of trying I, to make yourself a victim. Wanna... Joe Biden accused Donald Trump of fanning the flames of white supremacy ideas that allegedly led to the recent shooting of people in El Paso, as well as other acts of terrorism in the U.S. During his presidential election campaign speech, Biden said Trump was linked to the darkest forces in this country. Leading U.S. media also agreed with him. Experts believe that the Democrats have found a new platform with which to go against Trump. Here's what they are all about. They are all following the delusion of an old marrow smaddix and passing it off as truth. Say, Which is not something that I don't like. Hold on, No, no, but we are I actually, we are actually well beyond time. Well, she's making herself a victim and pretending that I came here and called her a racist. Uh -huh. So this is a typical leftist not, tactic. That we not demonize our opponents. And I think it's important that you on, not demonize on, my on. president. And one thing that I try very hard to do is to criticize the policies you, and criticize people who are in positions of and power. I'm not sure how you were doing not, that by pointing out the color not. in the administration. Scott Owens is on a roll. She's trashing an illiterate anchor, and I quote her saying, and I think it's important that you don't demonize my president. Donald Trump has been accused of racism. For American politics, it is one of the most poisonous and dangerous insinuations imaginable. The lower house of the US Congress has issued a formal censure to the head of state. Nothing like this has happened for more than a hundred years, since the time of the 27th President of the United States, William Howard Taft. And even then, the rebuke was softer. But Trump himself is only happy about the scandal. In his opinion, a racist card is being played against him because against the backdrop of the economic achievements of his administration, his opponents simply have no other Trump cards and will not have any. But not to criticize the people who support the you president. Literally spoke That's about something I try color, very hard to do. But you're not doing a very and good job of it. I think it's really important. I think it's really important that you be aware that just because I'm a black woman, you don't need to ask me a question Americans. as basic enough as saying how much color is in the administration. To demonize our fellow I think Americans. what's problematic is that you are creating a simulation that is dishonest, that is accusing our president I, of being racist based off of the color of the people that. that are in the. That's exactly what you that. asked me a question that right. you implied. Okay, I actually really appreciate you two coming in very much. Cowardly pups gave up very quickly. Candace Owens defended her point of view as clearly as possible and destroyed these stupid presenters. I think they will remember this broadcast for a long time. What do you think? Write your opinion in the comments and don't forget to watch other shocking news on the channel.